Hey everyone, my name is Kyle Campbell. I'm the founder of CTO AI, and I am joined with Ryan, our head of customer success, and Danilo, one of our senior engineers on our platform team. And this video is just to give you a quick update on some things that are coming down the pipe um, and uh, a few bit more information on how to manage it. So one of the things that's happening is we're about to and have submitted into the Slack marketplace and we're working on getting an approval right now so that we can bring the platform to more teams who are using Slack. Uh, to help them automate their workflows. As a result of working with that, we've done a bunch of work to improve the scopes and permissions as well as the onboarding experience. For new users, there's very little that has to happen. It'll just work as per normal. But for existing users who have already installed it in their Slack workspace, um, there's essentially one step that you have to take to upgrade the scopes so that your application continues to work correctly. You won't have to worry about doing this in the community workspace or any workspace where we've installed the application because we can upgrade that on your behalf. But if you've installed this into your private workspace, your company workspace, you will need to go through one step here um, in order to upgrade those scopes. It's really easy, we'll just walk through it right now. Essentially, you just come to our website here as you can see on the left-hand side. Uh, you click the login button. You're gonna log in with the account that you were onboarded with. This is gonna redirect you back to the homepage and you'll see that you're logged in here. Now just click on this icon and go to the quick start. And down here you'll see install Slack beta. You may also see this grayed out. You may see install into another workspace. Don't worry, you can click either link and then choose the workspace in the next step. Just go ahead and click this. And what you'll see is you get redirected to the install flow um, and there should be a new set of permissions here that will be actually a lot more convenient for you to use. And I'll just maybe kick it over to Danilo real quick um, to touch on what we've uh, what we've changed here. Thank you, Kyle. So uh, we have worked with Slack to make sure that we are, we are making uh, the most secure scopes uh, as possible. And we actually removed remove some of the, the scopes that were too powerful, like uh, using using user permissions. Now we are just using bot permissions. Uh, we also added some scopes related to a pub, a public and private channels that the bot is part of, uh, which is getting basic information, which is the name of the channel or the number of participants on, on, on the channel. But other than that, um, I, I would say uh, that is, is like helped us a lot uh, clean up the, the scopes. Yeah, we're really excited about this because it'll make the experience easier to onboard into. Um, it'll make it more secure. And one of my favorite features that this unlocks is the ability to run the OS platform more securely within private channels because we know a lot of our users are segmenting different channels within their workspace, whether it's their dev team or their ops teams who have different workflows. So that's really great. Um, so now all you have to do essentially to get these new scopes is just click allow. And what that'll do is it'll bring you back to the website um, and confirm for you that it's been installed. And that's it. Your application's now generated a new token with the correct permissions. Um, and that will allow us to work with these new scopes, um, which has already been upgraded on the server. So your application currently needs to, to be aligned with these scopes. Um, now, what I'd love to do is just kick it over to Ryan because there's also um, a bit of changes that are coming with the onboarding experience here. So it's very possible in the next couple of days if you're doing this, you may not see this exact screen, Ryan, uh, but what will you see coming up next? Thanks, Cal. Yeah, we're really excited to launch our new onboarding process. This is gonna guide you directly through the most important steps you need to take to learn the platform. The new Discover the Ops platform section in, in our in our webpage, in our dashboard, will evaluate and look at when you run an op. It'll look at when you explore the registry and show you how to get there, as well as creating your own team and getting your own team members invited and onto the ops platform. Uh, we're really excited to launch this and happy to uh, release it to you soon. Yeah, absolutely. And if you have run into any other issues, you can always use the links on the side there to, to schedule a demo with us and uh, Ryan's team would be happy to to jump on with you. We're not just doing this from the dashboard side, we're also doing it from the Slack side. Danilo has actually implemented something that's one of my favorite features, uh, which is part of the onboarding in Slack. So when I went and installed that application, the next thing I get um, is this message from a Slack bot uh, from the CTO today Slack bot. So maybe Dilly, you can just touch on a couple of the changes that we made here. Thank you. So this is one of the, the changes that we are sending a message when you're installing the, installing the bot. Another one is uh, when you interact with the bot using, um, uh, when you interact with the message steps 
message tab on the bot, you also will receive a response back. And we also improved the messaging. So, so that way you, we are more clear on which one are the next steps for you. Um, uh, among other things like ops list, ops list now it's um, it has more information about the ops and which things you are running. That's great. Yeah, I like this one because I think it makes it really clear what to do once you get the bot installed into Slack. Um, so obviously you can associate your account, which is how you associate your CTO to AI in your Slack accounts to make sure that you can run ops that are available in the teams that you're on, um, as well as browse the registry, read documentation. But I wanna call it this join community link here. One of the things that we're really trying to push hard for right now um, is to bring more people into the ops community, try to create a enthusiastic community of DevOps people who are excited about the future of DevOps. Um, and you know what we think is the time right now is really great with everybody going remote to really revisit these concepts around the developer experience and how we work as a remote team, especially where communication and collaboration happens in Slack. It's very aligned with our mission to make DevOps more accessible. So um, I think that's pretty much it from us guys. Is there anything else to add? No, that's great. No. One thing that I forgot is uh, this quarter, one of the things that we're launching is a beta around delivery metrics. So if your team is using CICD or you're using ops and you're interested in actually creating metrics, charts, um, and using data to measure your delivery cycles, uh, whether it's Dora metrics or custom metrics that you might be interested in, we'd love to talk to you. Uh, we're working on this right now and it's something that we're hoping to have ready by the end of the quarter. Um, and we're looking for community members and early adopters who come in and try this out and give us feedback, just as we did for the ops beta uh, in the community in Q4, as well as the Slack beta uh, in uh, Q1 here. So. Um, I think that's it from us today. Thank you very much for, for trying us out and um, we hope you're able to get through this uh, upgrade flow easily. Let us know if you have any questions, just ping us in Slack or ping us on the website using the support button here. You can always just get through to us in real time. So thanks everyone, uh, have a great day.